Movies. The average person can be inspired by them. They can make us laugh. Movies can keep us on the edge of our seat and so much more. Maddie's Movie Mix is a podcast for movie enthusiasts of all kinds. We hope you enjoy the show. Wait, 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 wait. Kelly Ho. You all right? Oh, you sick! You sick! Why would you do that to me? I'm just kidding you, pal. <laughs> Ryan Reynolds, Kai Penton, Tim Matheson, Tara Reed, T. Money Holmes. That's who wild. else? Daniel Cosgrove, Emily Rutherford, Paul Gleason. There's a cast. Let's throw it back. 2002, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Classic National Lampoon's Van Wilder. Man. Is better seen... On the TV version. <laughs> That's right. Watch it on one of those satellite channels. I watched it for the first time on this unrated version. Yeah. And I, I was like, I don't remember this. I don't remember what. Yeah. I was a They're, little taken aback. Yeah. They yeah. were, uh, they didn't, uncensored was uncensored. It was uncensored. Yeah. Yeah. And it didn't add anything to the film. No, it really you know, didn't. No. Um, how do you think it held up? 20 years later i don't know it's good but I don't, I don't know i would agree like i would be interested to see what the censored version looked like because there was just so many like uncensored things that was unnecessary that was like that how, really yeah, threw how me back add? from watching again yeah no right 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 yeah. i agree with that and and this is one that i actually really enjoyed in the past yeah. like ryan reynolds he's he's pretty new yeah um, in in two thousand two, so it's and he's funny yeah. and uh, I was like, this is great. Yeah. But then seeing the uncensored version to talk about it today, that's I was, right. I was just like, eh. open your eyes. But oh, hey, five up. million bucks that's to crazy. do this. They, it's, I mean, it, it's worth any gamble. Yeah. To go into so it. so basically thirty eight point two million. That's insane. Is what they ended up doing in the box office. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't normally look at ratings, especially now that we're doing this. Yeah. But I no, did it's happen not. to see the the Rotten Tomatoes oh, you on it, and it was seventeen percent. Which <sighs> I don't. I don't. Rotten Tomatoes hates comedies to begin with. Yeah. But I, I definitely don't think that's fair to this film. So what was the uh, what was the popcorn? I have no idea. What do you mean? What's you just. I I only saw. I don't know because when I watch the Apple isn't TV, isn't there a popcorn rating for them? I th- like, wasn't well, IMDb because it's, does the popcorn. Oh yeah, yeah. I think you're right. Yeah, I, I've talked to you about that yeah. before. I don't no. like the ratings thing at agree. all. I, I, I mean, yeah. But I, say, I only said that because, like, again, it's an instance of like I don't think it's fair to the film. Yeah. Because again, they're so prejudiced against comedies, and I love comedies, right? And films in general. And I was talking to someone else about this that wasn't you, but like. Oh, my other personality. You mean? My coworker. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh, Luke. Nope. Anyways, <laughs> I was talking to my coworker today. Because <laughs> um, Obi-Wan just recently came out. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't. Spoil I haven't it. seen don't anything. I can't watch okay. it until Sunday. Yeah. Whenever right. this comes out, I can't watch this until 529. All right. Because I'm watching it with my wife and my brother because I would get absolutely murdered by my wife if I saw it without her. Yeah. And my brother were just excited to watch it together. Nice. And uh, that being said, we were talking about Obi-Wan. He said, you know, not to listen to the reviews because, again, it's so – I mean, it's – again, even this podcast is just like this is how we feel about it. Like yeah. people are have different opinions, have different experiences that are going to draw different conclusions. Hayden Christensen and Ewan McGregor sat down and talked about it, I guess. Yeah, they did. And I'm like, stay away. Stay away. But anyway, so, back to this. Not the actors you're <laughs> looking for. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Um, but, y- you know, 20 years ago, I probably saw it on TV, you know, what, three or four years after it was released. That makes and sense. And so, you know, I'd seen it two or three times since then. And I just really liked it. 
It was and, my first experience, man. Yeah, so so ex- first experience being unrated is a little bit of a shocker. Yeah. Like, I was shocked. Yeah. The the topless stuff and the it language was... so was, unnecessary. It was just... It really was. And I'm not trying to be, like, a prude or whatever about it. I'm just being, like, it just doesn't matter. Yeah. You know? Let's just focus on the know. people. But, yeah. again, I don't know. Yeah. It reminded me a little too much of like Porky's. Uh, you probably don't even know what that is, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, <laughs> I don't think there's only two you, things I think you of young, I you young man, you. A- uh, but you know, uh, Porky's was an '80s like uh, practically soft core. Yeah. You know, I mean, right. it's kind of. I mean, it's kind of what it was. <laughs> <laughs> and it was no good. Yeah. And it's like um with this unrated version, it reminded me of that. There's just so much unnecessary stupid things in it. Right. That could have yeah, kept you know, I should have watched it. That's TV a Ryan Reynolds and, coming of age. Yeah. Which, yeah. I mean that premise is just interesting of like going from like I wanna just screw over my dad to like I wanna make a life for myself. Because I right. feel believed in, and, and as a dad with with adult kids, yeah. like, I get that. Right. Like, I mean, obviously, I, I mean, I'm not rich by any stretch of the means or word or meaning or anything like that. But uh, I, there is a time that you have to with your kids. You have to draw the line. There has to be a boundary, and that's it. And right. You go right. Yeah. And and so a lot of that made sense, and then. To see him actually um, come forward and really figure it out, and you know, he became this party planner to make money, yes, right. and he, you know, all these other things, goofy things. But yeah, so it was pretty cool. Plan some fun weddings. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was his major? Wasn't it like uh, rec- like it was like super? Uh, it was basically what he was doing. Like, wasn't it like relax. I forget what it was. I don't remember. I don't either. At but all. I remember hearing. I was like, that makes sense. Yeah. Because that's yeah, what yeah. he's doing right now. But he got really good grades. 18 credits in one semester. You know, yeah. That's that's a lot. Yeah. Especially with what he was doing the whole but, semester. Right, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and I think even his previous years, though, when he um, his test scores were really good. Right. How well, could you be in college for seven years, by the way? I mean, well, people do it. What do you, I? I was like, in school for five. I switched majors. Okay, but you were working. He wasn't working. Yeah. Towards anything. Yeah. At all. I mean, anyway, I, do you ever watch the show Community? There's a guy named Pierce Hawthorne. No. And he kept. He was like in his sixties. It was uh, he was played by uh, gosh, one of the Three Musketeers. He's not liked. Chase. Oh, Chevy Chase? Chevy Chase. Oh, okay. He's, the, he's Pierce Hawthorne. And he does. that's the premise of his character is that he's been oh, in school okay. for like 15 years and he's called the cash cow because they also offer new classes, so he he pays for them and takes them, but he never graduates. He just, <laughs> I mean, if you don't have a declared major, I mean, right. and you're just taking no. classes, and it's right. not like you're actually working towards anything. Right, right. No, that makes sense. Totally. And it doesn't sound to me like he was actually doing well in the classes because <laughs> no. he was focused on other things. Right, right. Yeah, well, I don't know. What do you think? 20 years worth watching? Get that sensor bar. We're good to go. Yeah, I, I would say I would agree with that. I There's just, it's very rare at my old age that that's necessary. Yeah. Like in a film. It doesn't right. add anything. Yeah. It, it more takes away yeah, for, for me. But yeah. Otherwise, go watch it. Or go on Christmas vacation. That's an also also a national. It lampoons. is. I haven't seen that one. I this is the first national lampoons I've seen. Oh, and it was on rated. <laughs> yes. Right. Well, that's what I was trying to figure out. Are they all like that? Because I know yeah. like the the national like we were talking about the vacation, the Christmas vacation, wildly popular among kids. And I was like, yeah, this this is different. No. So let's go have some eclairs and call it a night. You can have some Eau Claire's. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just go to Eau Claire. Legit Q at maddiesmoviemix.com. Let us know. Comment. Hey, here's how we could do this. 
I just it just came to me. Light bulb. Wait, I just lost it. Oh, wait. Do you have a comment, a suggestion, or a snide remark? That's right. LegitQ at maddiesmoviemix.com. Okay, so I'll see you later, huh? I'll give you a call. So it's done. It's done.